Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the book Catherine Parr, The Sixth Wife by Alison Weir. And as the title suggests, this is about Henry VIII's sixth wife, sixth wife Catherine Parr. Um, and she did survive King Henry VIII by, I think, a few years. Like maybe two years, not, not very much. And... This basically tells her life from when she's five years old until her deathbed. She dies in childbirth, giving birth to her daughter, Mary Seymour. And I really enjoyed this book. This is the last in Alison Weir's series about Henry VIII's sixth wives. And this, she did a really good job as always. Um, I really like to, I learned a lot about, more about Catherine Parr, and uh, she kind of, Alison Weir really speculates how her, how Catherine Parr started leaning towards reform, and the things that drove her to reform and be part of the reformist movement, which was a really good interest, and it also goes into detail about how she gets the warrant that she's supposed to be arrested. But the thing I have a problem with that is this exact event was shown in Lady Jane Grey. And I know that this is a different series. I know it's a different book. I know it's not even part of the same series. But I would have liked that consistency because it's still her book and in the Jane Grey book, Jane finds the, the note. But in this book about Catherine Parr, it's found a different way. I would have liked that consistency, but that's really nitpicky. And I also don't think it should have been this long. I do not think it should have started when Catherine Parr was about five. I would have liked to maybe see her as a teenager and maybe the book wouldn't have been that long. It seems like a lot of novels are being written like that nowadays with it starting when the characters are very very young and then and then going until pretty much they die or they get a uh, sentence somewhere or something like that. But that is only my problem. I think that this series really outdoes Philippa Gregory's series on, she also writes a lot about the Tudor Court series and I think that that does, it, it does a better job about than Philippa Gregory series, but that is just my opinion. And yeah, there's really not a lot to say about this book. If you read, you know, all the other books, I hadn't read the first one actually, so I'm gonna, I need to do that. But if you've read all the other Six Wives series by Alison Weir, you know, you should might as well finish it. I got it on Audible, and I didn't even realize this book came out until I saw it uh, on a bookshelf when I was book shopping, and then I decided to get it on Audible because I know it's a really big book. So, yeah, so this was a good book. Um, it's, it's not one of my favorites, but it is still... It's out of somewhere, so what can you say? So I will see you all in the next video, and that will probably be in a few days. I I read a lot of books recently, and I'm just now getting around to reviewing them. I, I don't want to cram books out for you guys, just because you might get bored, like, or and I might get get burnt out with it. So I'm kind of taking my time. I did read Tsarina, and I'm also reading the 
a plant-based solution, so that will be out as well. So I will see you all in the next video.